Here we are again, going down the beach. I'm going to go for a mooch around today, see what we can film. It's a little bit breezy, so you might hear a bit of wind, but we've got a, the windsock on, but it's quite breezy, like I say. Uh, quite a big swell, the water's all sort of green, it's sandy coloured. But we'll have a look, see what we can find. So just walking down the beach, look at the size of this. Wow. This one is an absolute beauty. Take him out carefully so we don't damage him. Some perspective. Just tease him out, don't tell him. Just move that stone there, maybe. Yeah, pull that out and I'll push him off. Or try to. Because they suck on as well, a bit like warmers. There we go, there we go, there we go. And carefully, watch that bottom leg, it might still be stuck in the rock. I don't want to break the leg on it. There, there we go. Is. Lovely, look at the size of him. Goodness. Beauty, that one. That's a big old starfish, especially on this sandy area to be here. You see the way that they, um, the way that they uh, change the position of their legs. They're not always just in the star. Well, that's a cracker, that one. He's gone like that to fit around there, yeah, I expect. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. There's nothing under there, like an ormer. Because sometimes they are preying on the ormers. They will eat them. No, there's nothing there. Um, you put him back. Can you put him into a... You put him in that pool behind you in a better position, because he's going to be out for a long time. That will dry out. Yeah, put him up by that... Yeah, yeah somewhere around there. Put the weed over him. So we're just walking across the channel there where we're going to go and have a look further out and we've got ourselves another scallop. And like I said, it's really unusual around here to find scallops. Uh, you never used to see scallops here at all. For years and years I haven't seen scallops here. Last couple of years, I've been getting one or two coming in, so it might just be the monstrous storms because we know they're out deep. So, But that's, uh, that's a nice scallop, that. That'll be, uh, what are that, 13 centimetres across probably? 12, 13, something like that. Size limit's 10, so... It's well over the size. Just gonna have a quick look over here just in case there's any more have rolled in in the same positions. Oh, and uh, it's got a new bag that she's made up. Look at that, with the scallop in. Oh yeah. It's just uh, come out of one of the crab wheels that she made it up. She actually made it though. She actually made that net. So actually pretty, made that actually made that net. Pretty impressive, huh? Right, let's keep rolling. Wind is a blowing. So we're just walking along, just after finding that first scallop, and look at that. There's another one right there, right there. Do you want to grab it? I will. That is definitely. I can see the frills on it, so I know it's alive. There we are. There you go. It's another nice one. And again, that'll be over the size. You've got your gauge anyway that I put a scallop mark on, just in case. So. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Keep going. I think we might just go for scallops today. Will my bag be big enough? Look, 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 look. Oh, oh, oh. We found another one. Another one right there. You can see the shell's partly open, so I know that one's alive as well. That is a beauty. There we go. Another one. Ooh, and he squirted as well. He's running out of water, that's why. Okay. Here we go, another one. That's, what's that, three now? Yep. You're well on scallops, considering we never used to get them here. I know what it is. It's like I said, as we walk down the beach, I might have it in the video, I might not. But as we walk down the beach, I said about the roll. There's a big roll, you can see by the colour of the water. And on the high spring tide, the roll has basically washed them in, because you get a big ground roll. That's the thing that usually trashes your pots if you've got pots out. It's not the storms that are the problem, it's that roll. Right, let's keep looking. I'm, uh, I'm on a scallop hunt now. Forget the abalone. It's not often we get scallops, so. I found an abalone, I found an abalone. Yeah, do you want to get him with your knife? It's easier to just push the knife in on that one. 
You can see him there. There he is. She's got a knife I drilled a hole in the back of it, put a string in. And she's got another gauge that we knocked up for the size limits. Oh, that's a nice one. Not that we need it for that. Yeah, that's a cracker. Lovely. All right, let's keep going. First one under a stone. This will be sized. Not huge, but it's big enough. Put this back carefully. So, let's have a look. Yep, easily. Easily. There you go. Oh, and while I'm while I'm here, I'll just go over this way and get this one as well. This one here. Here we go, another one. We actually decided today we would do some more cricking, which is looking in the crevices as opposed to just lifting rocks. So that is the plan. See what we can find in the crevices. All the little caves. You see the hole? Your head's going in the water. You'll know straight away if there's anything in there because it won't go back too, too far, I don't think. Not if he's dug it out like that. Oh, maybe it does. I says it doesn't go very far. It just shows that these little holes, how far they'll go back. And that's a classic of lobster. They go right back deep. Anything trying to grab your hook? Uh, no, I don't think there's anything in there. All right. Let me have a quick feel. Just to, just to double check. Leave it in there. Yeah. No. If it is, it'll only be a small shanker. Back, I know. I know. You pull that hook out. It's a six foot hook. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a six foot hole. That. When you look at it, it doesn't look like it goes far back at all, eh? Like a foot or so. And when you get the hook in there, you realise just how far they they go in and dig out. He's probably left. He probably was in there, and when the tide dropped, he came out. Oh, look at that! One, two, three. At least three. Possibly more in that bigger hole. Let me have a look. So for the benefit of the people at home, I've got a torch. So, you've got one there, one there, one there. Hopefully you're seeing that. The camera is sideways, but I'm trying to get it to look low down. Check if there's any more. I don't see any. I'll look on the camera later. <laughs> so yeah, you've got three baby ones in that hole. You see that? Move that bit of seaweed yeah, just there. Say, let me just move it that way because you'll find more crevices. This is the thing when you're cricking, you've got to look around, moving the seaweed around just to see if there's any more crevices. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave those because none of them are going to be any big, uh, big enough. So just leave them where they are. And how big is that hole? That's a. You might want to just stick your hook in there or we'll have a look in there. I wouldn't spend too long on it. But... You see the water's dirty? Ah, lobster. Yeah, I saw it. You see him? Yeah. As soon as I saw that dirty water, I thought lobster. Yeah, and, and there you go. Like, before you go in, you show everybody at home. Classic example there is, you see the way the sand is dug out here. You also see the water, if it picks up on the camera, it's very murky. You can see him digging away here. And he's pushing the sand out, making himself a nice hole under the rock. He's not big, so we'll see if we can get him out. But we're not going to spend too long on him if he's if he's only a baby. We'll try with the small up first because he's not far. I don't think I could be wrong again on that. See if we can gently get him out so we can get a look at him. But if he's too much trouble, don't don't bother with him because uh, we don't want to break him. He'll be dug down probably because he was pushing the sand out. There he is. 
Here he comes. Got him by the tail. He's a little beauty. Oh, ho, ho. check him out. Oh, look at that. Dad. Look at that cutie. Yeah. Let me get him. Yeah, a little baby one. He's obviously been in a fight. Looking at that. Let me have a look at the claw. Yeah, he's been in a fight. You can see. You can see a baby claw there. New one growing. That will stay soft. That will stay soft. That little claw until it gets big enough and then it'll go hard then it'll start changing but at the moment it stays soft and it just keeps growing to sort of get as, almost as big as the big one not quite like right, pop him back in the hole he's only a tiddler uh back in his hole don't put him in the water because he'll be out and get him back in there there he goes he'll go back right let's keep going now there is some i don't know People can see this, but in this hole, there's another species of scallop. It's a different kind of scallop. I don't know the exact species, but you'll see they're little scallop, and they grow on the rocks. You see them every so often, orange. You can see that little bit of orange, maybe, in the hole. Yeah, let me get a light on there, and we'll show you. They tend to be very small. You see, just in there, a little orange edge. That's the edge of a scallop. And this great big slit along here, and I reckon it's going to... This is the sort of place you're going to get a lot of almonds. Oh, yeah, so let's take a look, see if we can find anything. Yep. Right, I see one. Definitely see one. Big one. Right. Can you see it down there? That? Oh, I've got to come out of this one. See that little bump there of rock? Yeah, that's, that's one there. Yep. Um, Probably my knife on that. I don't know, I think it's further than you think it is. Give me the knife. Oh, is it in the bag? Right. That was a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, you see, when you get a when you get a nice crevice like this, you will find them, but you've got to go right into the back of the holes. They'll be right back deep, hidden away. But you'll get the big ones because people miss them. Because a lot of people just go under rocks, you see. But if you're prepared to get on your hands and knees and look in these holes, you'll find them. out where we are here but when you find a rock it'll be good as you see And as I was walking over, I spotted a tiny little bit of tail. And I think it's a lobster in here. So Rebecca's going to have a go. Watch out, because he will bolt. They're not stupid. He'll come yeah, straight I, out. I can see him. He's walking along here. I can see he hasn't got any claws in He hasn't got any claws? I don't think so. We'll find out. Yeah, he's not a big one. You need to get him before he tucks too far too deep. I can see his antenna. Oh no, that's seaweed. I thought it was in there. Yeah. Eh? There he is. There he is. He doesn't have any claws. He might have little mini ones. I'll get him. I've got him. He's only a baby. 
Yeah, he's got no claws. Let's have a look. Oh, he's got a baby claw, look. A little baby soft claw. The other one's gone as well. He's probably been fighting. There's nothing else in there, Well, eh? that's what I was wondering, because this, this is quite go, a, a long leg. Yeah, just go in all the way. I don't think they'll live close together, not unless you've got male female for breeding, but this is a hard lobster, so... No, I don't think so. No, I would have said no. I think he's just been out. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Little, another little lobster. Let him go. There he goes. Back into his hole. There's two small ones there, obviously undersized. But there's a tiny, tiny little one there. So we just picked up a lobster, uh, an orma, and uh, Rebecca's spotted a lobster. Let's just going to have a look. Another little one. <laughs> look at that. Another little baby. That's three today, isn't it? Or four? Three. Three. Yeah. At least he's got both the claws. Yeah, this time. time, yeah. All right, pop him back. We've got to hurry up, because look at the water. You just see how fast it comes rushing in here when the tide turns. So we've been just walking around the last few minutes. Picking up these <laughs> full bottles of water. They've come off a cargo ship. There's been a lot washed up around the island. We've picked up about six or eight, something like that. So we're going to take them up and get rid of them. 